In the previous video, we learned how to access to a save link, paragraph, and heading of a parent by using a space. When you are using space to separate selectors, means that you are accessing to a save link of a parent. But in this video, we will learn how to group multiple selectors. Okay, what I mean by grouping multiple selectors. So the two save link, each one and the paragraph, they share the same style, color green. You can combine them by using one group. So in this case, to group this article paragraph and article H1, so I will use, let's just copy that article paragraph, then use comma, let's just comment that, save that, and you see that I have a color green here at the paragraph and the heading. They are siblings of the article, so I'm just combining them because they share the same style. So the style will be applied in both of them. And this result right here is the same as, I call it just on, Article each one color green. And because they share the same style, we just create groups instead of repeating the same code. This group that we create, article H1, our article paragraph, they are not related. You are not obligated to use this article of the parent and the siblings. You are free to use any selector and group them so they can share the same style. In our example, we have a link, click here, and we want it to be green or any link within the document you want it to be green. So in this case, they share the same style and we can add comma, then the selector E, which means that any link within this document will be green. So we use an element, which it is not related to the other ones. It doesn't have the same parent. You are free to use the selectors that they share the same style. Okay, to summarize, we use space to access the sending element and we use comma to group multiple selectors. And when you group multiple selectors, they are not related, they are independent.